Welcome everyone to Karma The Dark World. This is an upcoming game released in 2025, developed by Pollard Studios, and it is a first person cinematic psychological thriller set in a dystopian world where the Leviathan Corporation is omnipresent. The year is 1984, the place is East Germany, and things are not quite what they seem. So guys, sounds very much Orwellian, sounds dystopian, sounds like the novel 1984 itself in a way. So I'm sure that I'm going to love it. I hope you enjoy this demo as well and wishlist if you do on Steam. As usual, let's jump right in and get straight into it. Wow, what an entrance. What a great sounding game first off. Objective updated, check, tab, leave the room. Headless man in the photo. Am I related to these people? Or are there others living here? Okay, nothing on the back of it. Can we open the drawers? Oh, look at that, you have to physically... Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Loads and loads of tapes. So this is set in 1984. So some of you might not even know what the hell they are. <laughs> They're called tapes or cassettes. Nope, on the table here. You people won't succeed. Come to the transition room after collaboration. Or calibration, even. Okay, put back. Notes on here. I don't know what any of that means. Oh wow, look at that. Here we are. What happened to me? Okay, curtains just opened on their own. This looks good. Oh. Oh wow, what the hell? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh look at this. I thought it was my <laughs> I thought it was my computer that was glitching, but I don't think it is. <laughs> Are we in a simulation or something here? It's set in nineteen eighty four and we work for uh the Bureau, which sounds hold this and this to interact. I don't know what that's meant to do. So it sounds already a little bit like... Is anyone there? Hello? Fine calibration room. Okay. Yeah, it sounds already a little bit like my favourite book by the name of 1984. One of the best books oh, ever written, in my opinion. Oh, wow, look at this. What the hell? Welcome, Special Agent... Please have a seat. Finish visual calibration. Okay, here we go. So this is like some major Cold War type stuff. Performing visual calibration. Spies or God knows what. Oh, is that <laughs> is that all just a gamma check? The left black image becomes less clear while still being able to see the texture. Yeah, well... 
Not there, that'll do me. Q. Good. Oh, right. That's it. <laughs> Can we have done that in the main menu? Oh, look at this. Sound settings, Please I'm guessing. Please go to the table. Table. Performing audio calibration. The brightest galaxy I've ever seen was a diamond shrouded in ghastly dark blue flames. He sank into the dark ocean, invoking an apocalyptic wave. A me. reasonable dynamic range. Okay. What a way to choose your settings. Unbelievable. Please stand at the marked location. Okay. Oh, look at our feet. Oh, you can't see them anymore. Uh, now what? Performing spatial calibration. Build a view, 90. Um, yeah, fine by me. Excellent. Calibration complete. Good luck on your missions. Please proceed to the transition room. Well, that's got to be the best settings menu ever. <laughs> Nothing down that way. Oh yeah, look, if I look down, there you can see our feet. Couple of little issues of frames at the bottom there. Leviathan Corporation. Thought Bureau. This is exactly what I'm talking about when I say it's like 1984. Look at this one. This is like dystopian Cold War type stuff, isn't it? Oh my god. Right, watch this. Anything? Nope. These computers. Nothing at all. Yeah, a couple of weird little... See the middle of the screen there? Not too sure what's going on there. Freezer room. Oh my god, look at that. Oh. Okay, well that door can stay closed. Calibration rooms must be the other rooms. Oh, there's what the hell? There's bodies everywhere. Nothing there. Experiment records. Test subject PDM 1325. Stage potted. Whatever that means. Model third generation proto. Quantity three. Experimental objective. Observe if the third generation proto will acquire better emotional stability when the duration of potting is increased. Some subjects may wake up earlier than expected. Please discard these immediately. Okay. So, are these them? Oh, look at them all, man. It's like the Matrix, isn't it? Oh, my God. There's one over there as well. So, these are the ones that have been discarded. Pretty grim. And these are the ones that are still... Growing, they're being potted, I presume. Look at this one here. It's dragged itself out from from here. Oh look, it's literally come out of the soil. Oh no, what's gonna happen here? I've got no weapons. Oh I can zoom though. Right, I've got no button that would suggest a punch. It's even got the holes in it like the matrix. Do we go to it? Oh shit. Hello? Nope. Nothing. Okay. Transition room. Hey you! Toss that useless failure onto the stinking pile of corpses for me, will you? Oh, it's dead. Uh, I, I'm working on something more important. Of course you are. Right. Deal with the corpse. Well, is it definitely dead? Okay. Christ. Okay. So why the hell would there be growing people? Presumably the people, unless they're... They don't look like androids, do they? So they're growing people. Oh, its throat's been slit. How? Oh, look, it's in a right mess. Jesus Christ. Oh. 
Oh my god, I have to think what is recording. Transition room. Oh wow. Find her. I am unimportant. You you have to put an end to this. I, I just woke up in the room over there. Ah, looks like you're finally awake. Do you know what this place is? Yes, of course. And those two years we don't outside. have the time for an explanation. <laughs> have a seat on that chair for now. I'm working on something else. Mm, okay. I'm just going to try one quick thing. Yeah, I've just put the graphics ever so slightly lower. Um, and it seems to have stopped that little glitch I was getting in the middle of the screen there. Oh, here we go. The most important part is you have to get out. No. We all have to get out of this place. Wait. Who are you? What are you doing to me? Why can't I recall anything? You don't know who I am? Mother didn't tell you? I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Who the hell is Mother? I no. swear to you, I don't know a thing about well, you. Well, that's impossible. For half my life, I have been serving her. One after another. You have never succeeded. None of you have. I put in so much effort to leave messages on the other side that none of you seem to care about them. Hey, listen. This might be a misunderstanding. There are things I can't call to mind. I arrived here by accident. I can't be one of those people you speak of. Only right? people can pass through the abyss. I cannot. I am trapped here forever. My memories. Wait. You're saying you lost your memories? Yes. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I woke up in a room, passed through calibration, and ended up here. I... <laughs> You do seem different from them. Those useless people out there. All they care about is doing their jobs. Perhaps I'm saying perhaps you may succeed. If you wish to retrieve your memories, this thing can help you. No, you won't be lost forever like them. <laughs> They're failures. Finding my memories? No, I, I, I think you've got the wrong person. I've explained it so many times. I did lose my memories, but I'm not one of those people you speak of. Listen, Abba, I don't know how you ended up here, nor do I care. But you got here, and that means it's your mission. You must find your true memory. You're insane! What, what are you doing? Hey! You'll meet me again Look at me! On the other side. <laughs> In a different form. Good luck, Daniel. <laughs>
Where the hell am I? Why... Why is everything so surreal? Okay, well that was trippy. I really hoped that that music in that sequence wasn't copyrighted. Because <laughs> it would be such a shame to lose that. That was really... I'm getting those lines again. Which is really strange. We've got some kind of... Like a pillar here. Looks like it should be stone, but it's made of light. One there. Another one there. And we've got three here as well. So this one looks... Like it's got a light on it there. It's flashing, it's pulsing. Oh, here we go, look. Oh, wow. What the hell? Oh, what is this? Have everything? Is this here? What's the test subject, Vegas? Moment, as usual. From now on, I'll deliver the bodies around this time. You'll take them to cold storage. Understood. Professor, I can feel that his body is still mutating from the Dasein injection. Dasein? We'll try our best to contain the test subject. Understood. Professor, is there a way to free his consciousness from that huge body? Just like you, and... <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell is that? No, no. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Do we have to... Yeah, flee from the monster. Uh, social level of D? What the hell does that mean? Right, okay. Can we hide under the desks? Uh, yes, we can. No, we can't, actually. Okay, there's a lot of questions here and not many answers so far. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. So it says that we're called... Uh, it said we were called Daniel earlier. Uh, but this fella's called Sean. Without any explanation. Christ almighty, where the hell am I meant to go? There's a, a leg here? There's, oh, it's two legs. Do I have no legs? Right, we definitely can't get under the desk. Right, let's just go around this way. I mean, it's going to see me, look. Oh, it's spewing loads of smoke or something. Oh, what the hell? In the chair. I mean, this is slow. I've got no clue. Shit. Right, go. Can I run? Oh, I'm stuck on a suitcase. Shit. Oh my god. I literally couldn't be going any slower here. What is this? Am I crawling? What? It's got me. Oh no. Yeah, I've got no legs, have I? No. 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 No, go away! I do have legs. Hold shift to run. Right, cool. And this is hardly running. What is wrong with me? Slowest run ever. Come on, let's get down the stairs. Exit. Here we go. Puff, puff. Great subtitles. <laughs> 
my goodness me. It's getting all grainy. Uh, oh, Christ, right, in the vent. Go. Oh, what is this? Okay, we escaped it for that. Whoa, cockroach. That sounds pissed, whatever that is. Why is the monster here again? The monster here again? Oh, it's that damn recorder. Is it Christmas? Clearly can't go this way. Follow the Christmas lights, I guess, then. Why won't they leave me be? Grace. She must be waiting for me at home. I have to get out of here. So I guess that's our daughter, is it? Grace? Clearly we've got a daughter. With the uh, little uh, ballerina spinny thing. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Wait, we're Grace, wait for me. We're crawling through this vent faster than we were sprinting. Uh, I don't know what that is. It won't actually let me move down enough to view it. Uh, we've got something in the jar here. Blue bottles. Can we take them? Nope. This is quite strange. I'm not following it so far. Uh, let's ignore the lights just for this second. Plug. Oh. Newspaper. Rumour. Ventilation duct. Chance to get more blue bottles at 11 o'clock every Thursday night bring any object of value to the loyalty parking lot at 3rd Main Street to exchange it for blue bottles based on the value of the object you've brought. So blue bottles, they're pills obviously by the looks of it does it say medicated electricity what electricity in a pill old style keyboard there keep crawling through here not too sure what the actual end game is here so far, what we're meant to be looking for. Another one of those things which you won't let me touch. Oh, uh, it's just like roots and flowers. I feel like we're getting lured into a false sense of security here, because this is so quiet, there's nothing going on. What's our objective? Flee from the monster still, okay. Let's just check this out here, we've got a level D card and a portable recorder that can play cassettes. Okay. Level D, I'll do what we do with that. Obey, 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 obey everywhere. Well, this guy spends a lot of his time straining. It's like. Oh, what's this? Find a way out of the weird space. Well, this dog's got something in its mouth. Why is he faster crawling than he is walking? What's this? Employees have recently complained that some equipment is malfunctioning. Place any equipment with display issues, such as colour signal bars, in the designated disposal area. All that is not working shall be discarded, be it humans or machines. Stay healthy and work hard. What a bizarre thing. <laughs> Obey. This is straight out of 1984, isn't it? This is an Orwell novel. Um, right, let's have a little look around here. Plaque on the ground. The seven social sins. Wealth without work. Pleasure without conscience. Knowledge without character. Commerce without morality, silence without humanity, worship without sacrifice, politics without principles. Hmm. Jeez. Dog there now too. Got a letter or oh, a book. Employee diary. I've decided to go ahead with the surgery. Newspapers have reported that something excision is a simple and safe method that can effectively treat all mental. What is that?
What on earth happened to the music there? <laughs> okay, this is trippy as. Uh, patient, uh, where we were, patients can resume normal work very quickly after the operation. In fact, I've been feeling depressed ever since I broke up with my girlfriend. I forced myself to work constantly in an attempt to forget, but that seemed to backfire. I just ended up becoming more anxious instead. I hope something, excision, can help me. Though I feel somewhat uneasy, surprisingly, the company made an exception to give me a day of sick leave. I might as well give it a try. I'm going to the surgery today. I hope everything will turn out okay. I feel calm. Very good. Work. Work feels good. Work. Ah, oh, look. Happy holiday, it said. Work, work start. So, are they getting their emotions taken out of them? Did you hear someone from the 13th floor was isolated for treatment? No, what happened? They say he overworked to the point where his head is, you know, he kept saying that someone's following him, but surveillance showed that he was hallucinating. Poor guy. Speaking of being followed, have you heard the rumour about a ghostly black car? Tell me more. There's a black sedan with no licence plate going around, grabbing anyone walking alone on the streets. By the time they show up again, they've either been fed some strange drug or had some organs stolen, and none of them remember anything at all. My friend says he's seen it with his own two eyes. I think the company's behind it all. Shh! Handled. Remember to verify with field support. Okay. So the company, I'm guessing, has nabbed those two fellas who were chatting. Shoes everywhere. And cameras. Look at that, you've got a surveillance camera literally right pointed at your desk. This is back to office work culture now, isn't it? Post COVID. <laughs> camera on your desk <laughs> at all times, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, pile of TVs and monitors here. This one. Oh, look at that. Broken TV. Uh, okay. Should be disposed of at the designated area, which I'm guessing is over here, where all the rest of them are. There's a TV down there. I wonder if that's going to turn on eventually. Okay, so put this in the skip. That one. Use. Oh, look. <gasps> wow. Oh my lord. So a door opened up in the middle of those TVs there. Did you see? There it is, look. Got all these faces here too. Those dogs are wild. Right, go through here. And then there's a door there now. I cannot believe how slow we are even when I'm running here. Look at these. Beware of the television announcements at all times during work. Press the ink pad to refill after every three stamps. Take a blue bottle when you are tired. How do I have to? Yeah, got to push it with the mouse. There we go. Blue papers everywhere. Cameras, two cameras watching us. Objective updated. Complete your job. Right, so sit down here. What the hell? Gonna let me sit. Try it from here. <laughs> what the hell? There we go. Oh, I have to be on this side. Right. So we've got to listen for the announcements. We've got to stamp or refill the stamp every three times and take a drink when tired. Winston.
Uh, right, start of our shift then, yeah? Wink. Have you ever found One. yourself experiencing the following symptoms? Still exhausted Two. even after having a full night's sleep. That feeling Three. of being completely spent even before the workday ends. And then refill. Or being so depressed that you lose track of whatever task or project you are working on in the office. Stumbling about your day with your mind in a fog. Life seeming like a twisted illusion, leaving you feeling lost and disturbed. Are you worried that these negative emotions are hindering your work performance and overall happiness in life? This is the most bizarre thing I've ever done. Oh no! I'm tired. Do I need my blue ball? Uh, drink? Pull back? What the hell? Drink, drink it, man. Oh, God. Right, so I've got to be real careful about the tiredness here then. Uh, top up, my pad. What? What's going to happen to us if that screen goes dark or something, you know? If we don't drink our blue bottle in time or if we run out? Tell you what, if we're tired after only doing stick, uh, six stamps, we're, we're in trouble, really. Shit, we're getting tired again. Go, 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 go. Grab it. Look at the camera watching us up there, too. Oh, we're going to run out of blue, uh, blue bottle here. Oh, emergency notice. Do I just keep stamping or what? Uh, the company has made the decision to adjust your schedule so your free time is now part of your working schedule. <laughs> oh god, okay. Subject to the following penalties. I keep stamping while I'm working. While I'm reading, should I say? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hanged and burned. <laughs> Unexpected communication interruption. <laughs> This guy sounds like every single corporate employee, I think, just crying at the end of his day. Shit, get our blue bottle here, man. Put that down. Drink. We're going to run out of this stuff now, though. Don't drink it. Oh, what? Too late. What is happening here? Oh my god. <laughs> Increase the concentration of SH-507 in blue bottles as requested. The drug alters the transmission of monoamine neurotransmitters to induce heightened focus and obedience while lowering the sense of fatigue. According to the results of a comparative laboratory study, the blue vial group showed a 38.2% increase in productivity compared to the control group. It should be noted that this drug has notable side effects, including moderate addiction, and the subjects may exhibit anxiety and irritability once the drug is withdrawn. 
So that's what we're going through right now, is it? And we're done. We're done for the day. Shift finish. Right. Back this way, I guess, into the funny TV room. We're going to see the monster again. Objective updated, what we got now. Leave the eerie space again. Obey, obey, obey. I really don't like it here. Everyone is fake. Why is it that I can only smile? Look at me. I'm a loser. A capital D low class type of... I regret being here. Oh, we're a D. I have no choice. I like Sansa Stark, huh? No, Not Sansa, are you? Quick! I need more blue bottles! Right, into this door that's covered in blood. There's somebody there though, look at that. Oh my god! That's the last employee who didn't fill up their stamp pad. Surely not. Do we do that? Nope. That? No. What the hell then? Okay, clearly it's not letting us do anything, so check this out here. Oh yeah, look, it's opened up. Post-it notes everywhere, TV in the fridge. Help, all over the post-it notes, oh my god. TV from freezer, presumably goes on this guy's neck here, that's his head, TV. This is so surreal, <laughs> I've never known anything like it. Uh, right, here we go. Oh my god. Oh, he's got us. It's here. It's here. Shit. Can we get up this way? Oh, he's finally got some speed about him. Oh shit, no it's not. Oh, it's the wrong way. Out through this door? No? Oh, bugger. Can we do anything with this here? Uh, no. Into the freezer? It's our only shot. Cannot get into the freezer. Oh, bloody hell. Where? What am I meant to do? Plant? Window? Get out the window. Oh yeah, sugar. Right. Oh, that makes sense. Of course. <laughs> it was literally right opposite the guy. Are these doors going to come flying open? Can't look anywhere else other than the direction we're facing. I don't know if that thing's behind us or what. <coughs> oh, shit. Have we fallen through the floor? Find the exit. Have we... I don't know what's happened to us. So none of these doors are open. Any one of them could be the exit here. TVs up on the wall. <laughs> I don't know why that made me jump. <laughs> Okay, so we're in a maze. It's going to be continuously changing. Yeah, here we go. Down here? Yeah. Oh, shit. No, no, no. It's here again. Oh, come on. He, he is not sprinting with any speed whatsoever. Oh, no. It's, oh, the door's closing as well. Oh, this one. Faster! I must go faster! Yeah, you're telling me, man. Come on. Oh, Christ. Right, that's hopefully giving us a head start there. Oh, God. I don't know where it is now. Oh, this is just trippy as, man. Man, that TV flying around. Are oh, we going to hit a TV? It's in midair here. Oh, no, we're not. Fuck! My prosthetic! Oh, yes, he he's lost his leg. Come on, guy, this way. Uh, 
<laughs> this isn't real. This can't be real. Oh, Christ. <laughs> right behind us. <laughs> no, don't, don't kill me. Oh, he's got us. <laughs> You've already taken one of my legs. What more do you want? Oh. <laughs> I'm begging you. I have a kid. I haven't gotten to say goodbye. <laughs> real before all this happened was it the same monster that took your leg you see everyone thinks I'm mad including me this monster made me lose my job my family I did something terrible I I feel bitter, <laughs> but none of that matters now. <laughs> the only person who believes me turns out to be the Thought Bureau agent interrogating me. <laughs> what I saw in your head doesn't show the entire truth. The key to resolving everything lies deeper. Things that I've yet to see. Sean. For your child, and for yourself. Let's make a deal, Agent McGovern. If, I'm saying only if, promise me the Thought Bureau will protect my child from those bastards. Then I'll show you the truth about this monster. Mother, I use my authority as a Rome agent to request protection for Grace Mendez. Request approved. The Thought Bureau has been informed. Let's begin. So we're going back into his mind again, are we? What do I do here? All oh, right. Oh, wow, we put this on in it. What, like, beams his thoughts into our mind? Begin, Rome. Five, four, three, two, one. Synchronization complete. Ah. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, <coughs> 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 
Where the hell am I? When the Leviathan Corporation came, everything changed. We brought hope. This mother that you all worship, has she made this city any better? He has lingered too long at the gate of death. How do you know if his consciousness is still in his body anyway? Tell me, do you think a glimpse of a memory is the absolute truth? You don't get to choose to see the events that led up to these memories, <laughs> or what transpired after. You should know more than I do about how Leviathan operates. Why don't you kill me? Because you're a good person. Whether it's in this space or another space, you're a good person. What's going to happen next? <laughs> You. Will you help me? You just don't know it. Wow. Well, there we go. That was the demo for Karma, the Dark World. I could have sworn that one of those voices was Matt Berry. <laughs> if anyone uh, knows that, I'm going to have a little look in the um, game credits if I can find it. Uh, not got a release date just yet but i have had this in my wish list for quite some time since i saw the trailer uh oh god many months ago now so really really looking forward to this one whenever it is released if you guys enjoyed it drop a like uh let me know in the comments if it was matt, Ber matt berry if i'm getting my words out <laughs> let me know and as always if you haven't already subscribed be extremely grateful if you could do so and as always i'll see you in the next one catch you then <laughs>